Well, the only reason why I mentioned people's actions is because you yourself exclusively date black, yet you're one of the biggest scammers in our community. It's been 12 years. Oh, since you've been oh, 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 why you do yeah. me like that? Oh, man, oh, why you do me oh, like oh, that? Bro? Oh, man. And Umar is not going to like me because I believe that you can date who you want to date. Just don't be a coon. And, you know, we regard Frederick Douglass with high esteem and he married a white woman at the end of the day. So I look at a man's actions more so than who he dates. To your point that we can marry who we want and not be a coon. How is not building a family with a black woman? How can you be exempt from cooning? How are you not a sellout if you're giving white people that type of wealth? What did this man just say? How can you be exempt from cooning if you're marrying a white woman? Third, did you just inadvertently call Frederick Douglass a coon? You're basically saying it's impossible to not be a coon and marry a white woman, sir. Frederick Douglass married a white woman. I want to clarify the Frederick Douglass piece. You're absolutely right. About a decade before his death as an old man, he married a white woman. But let's not forget about Queen Mother Anna Marie Douglas, who he was married to for nearly 50 years, who gave birth to all five of his children, who helped him escape from slavery to freedom, and who ran the Underground Railroad in Rochester, New York, during his absence. I'm only bringing that up because we talk about the white woman so much that a lot of our children don't know. Frederick Douglass had a dark skin. This motherfucker is deflecting like a bitch made nigga. I said, hey, Frederick Douglass, he married a white woman. Um, well, you see, he did marry a white woman, but we gotta remember he married a black woman first and he was with a black woman and she was such a good black woman. And remember, he married a black woman first. What are you talking about? So it's cool to marry a white woman if we marry a black woman first and then leave her? What is he talking about? Deflecting in its finest. About a decade before his death as an old man, he married a white woman. But let's not forget about Queen Mother Anna Marie Douglas, who he was married to for nearly 50 years, who gave birth to all five of his children, who helped him escape from slavery to freedom, and who ran the Underground Railroad in Rochester, New York, during his absence. I'm only bringing that up because we talk about the white woman so much that a lot of our children don't know. Frederick Douglass had a dark-skinned, chocolate, beautiful, nappy-headed wife. So I want to make sure Anna Marie Douglas gets her due. Now, to your question, to your point that we can marry who we want and not be a coon. How is not building a family with a black woman? How can you be exempt from cooning? What did this man just say? Um, how can you be exempt from cooning if you're marrying a white woman? Third, did you just inadvertently call Frederick Douglass a coon? You're basically saying it's impossible to not be a coon and marry a white woman. Sir, Frederick Douglass married a white woman. So I got this man so pressed. I got him so bent out of shape. I was the only one to call in and challenge his rhetoric. And he's got, he's calling Frederick Douglass a coon right now. Y'all peep game. He said, how is it possible to marry a white woman and not be a coon? Mmm, Frederick is rolling in his grave. Your question, to your point, that we can marry who we want and not be a coon. How is not building a family with a black woman? How can you be exempt from cooning if you do not build family with black women? So by your own rhetoric, it's okay if we marry a white woman as long as we marry a black woman first. No, you should not be marrying a white woman at all. If the salvation right. of the African people rests on the shoulders of the African family, do we not have an obligation to be with our own women? Interesting. And and I believe and that you exclusively date argument. sisters, right? Yes. And what about and I slid in there and I understand that you exclusively date sisters, right? Why is it so important for me to confirm whether or not he solely dates sisters? You'll see in just a moment, but I got his confirmation. Health argument. Women on average outlive their husbands. So when we transition, if we married a snow bunny. Is she going to use any of your wealth to empower the black community after you're gone? How are you not a sellout if you're giving white people? Yeah. Well, the only reason why I mentioned people's actions is because you yourself exclusively date black, yet you're one of the biggest scammers in our community. It's been 12 years. Oh, you oh, oh, why you do me like that? Why you do me like that? Oh, man. Oh, Mike, we, we, man. We, 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 we was going oh, good. So Mike went a little left. Mike, come Mike on. Oh, man. man. Yeah, I man, thought the brother was a good brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, as soon as I called this man a scammer, as soon as I referenced it's been 12 years, 
ears and still no school, this man immediately looks to the host, then starts nervous laughter as if to tell the host, hey, you got to drop him down right now. And then he starts rubbing his thigh in a very nervous manner, trying to, ha, 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 I thought you was a good brother, Mike. Ha, 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 I thought you was such a good brother. Mike, why you got to do me like that, Mike? Why you got to do me like that, Mike? You mean your bitch ass can gossip about who's dating who for hours on end? But as soon as somebody mentions you scamming with that school long con, oh, it's Get him up and, oh, I thought you was a good brother. I, I thought you was a good brother, Mike. Why y'all do me like in 12 years? Why you do me like that? Why you do me like that, bro? Oh, man. Oh. See me, I get everything I want to get. I have some fun with it and make her mama trip. Cause if I'm in her life, it's a problem. A real player's that you grow, you better stop it. So how much money was raised? What the people people gave? All kind of people people gave. How much was raised and what's the status of that? Seven hundred thousand dollars. And the status is we're still looking for a school. And the status is my start date for FDMG will be 8-21-18. Or if at all, it may be delayed to 8-21-19, which is the anniversary of the Nat Turner War. Turn your back on the bitch, she ain't acting right. He hit it way before you, now he's back in her life. What you gonna do when you lose her? She got a nigga on the side just to use her. If it's me, I'm parking at the front door. And you'll be knocking on her bedroom window. You see the shadows, you hear the sounds, but you don't do nothing. You just turn back around like a bitch. That goes without saying, how is the school coming? We pushing, brother, we pushing. Black mother, you know what? At the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, I'm going to have a super circle water gun. At the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, I'm going to have a super soaker water gun. Invented by a black man, by the way. Invented by a black man, by the way. Invented by a black man, by the way. I'm going to have a super soaker water gun. And if any black mother walks into the doors of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence in your pajamas. I'm telling you now, if you walk into my school in your pajamas, I'm a super soaker your ass from head to toe. And I'm going to make sure I mess your hair up, your weave in the process. I'm telling you now. See, we are independent school. We can do that. We're not a charter school. We're not a charter school. We not a public school. There was a lot. She got a lot of bitch in her, but not more than you. I never underestimate what you want to do. Don't act like a bitch. That's why I don't got love for bitch. I got a big booty and it's juicy. You better cut it out. She said she got a big booty and it's juicy. Sisters, let's do the work first. Don't don't worry. We gonna make love. Oh, we gonna make some love. You better believe that. Oh, that's why too short need for to say. I keep telling you, consciousness over coochie, politics over punani. So hold me, please don't marry that bitch. Politics over punani, it is revolution over romance. Get your mind right, family. This is Garveyism. This is Enchroma. This is Lumumba. This is Kamathi. This is uh, 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 Kwame and... Ooh, ooh. And that's why I'll never... Never slipping and slipping and skipping and drifting and missing. Missing. This cast that I'll be hanging around, don't listen. What do y'all think about a date with the doctor, FDMG fundraiser? $100. The sisters will pay a $100 raffle. Sisters will pay $100. And if they win the raffle, they get to pick a social event anywhere in the country. It could be a concert. It could be a sporting event. It could be a festival. We're going to pick her up. I'm going to pick her up. We're going to pay for the hotel, pay for the flight. I'm going to pick her up, take her to the event. 
we're gonna go to dinner and we're gonna drop her back off at the hotel. Don't listen. I'll be having this sipping and smoking and drinking and spitting, spit. And these musty mouth bras, they be tripping. They be tripping. I mean, the bitch thought she was to come home frustrated and she had a bad day and the things just didn't go right and she ain't gonna wanna be caressed and she ain't gonna wanna be massaged and she ain't gonna wanna forehead kiss. She gonna want her cookies crushed. Every once in a while, your queen is going to want her cookies crushed. And when your queen needs you to crush those cookies, you have to be able to meet the demand. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, yes, send your young black boys to school, boarding school, with Umar Johnson, and he's going to teach them how to crush cookies. Every sister. I don't care how spiritual she is. I don't care how feminine she is. Every once in a while, she want cookies crushed. I don't know what that bash was thinking, what she thought, what she was thinking, but she shouldn't have thought that. I told her the money cost too much and I ain't got it, Dad. You got to pay me. Or pay me, no, never mind. And so we paid respects earlier to the Honorable Frederick Douglass, my direct ancestor, and it's only fitting and it's only with respect that if we're going to big up the masculine energy, we got to big up the feminine energy. And we know that Queen Mother Harriet and Frederick Douglass were very, very good friends. Some even say may have been cousins, which means I'm related to Harriet Tubman. I ain't gonna even get into that right now. Uh, 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 don't sit on the toilet when I go piss. piss. You, you got feminine tendencies like a bitch. I married a white girl 10 years ago, brother. Well, brother, until you unmarry her, it's best you stay over there, brother. I, I appreciate you and I love you, but you are no use to me with that white woman on bitch, me, me. I'm solid and concrete. I keep it found, found. We, we, we pull up and something acting a dumb, dumb. She, Correct. But I would say, listen. Your wife is white, so we're going to stop the black talk right there. She, she lifting her dress up, showing her mom, mom, see, see, he tripping, he tricking, throwing her mind, mind, be, be, I can see eight, y'all in her face. How am I helping black boys? That's a silly ass question. How does Dr. Umar help black boys? That's a silly ass question. But because you got a blonde weave in your head, I'm going to answer the question because you don't know no better. Because you got a blonde weave in your head, I'm going to answer the question because you don't know no better. This is what I do for black children. I am the number one parent advocate in America. I am the number one certified school psychologist in America. I am the number one doctor of clinical psychology out here on the grassroots helping parents protect their children from medication, misdiagnosis, and unnecessary hospitalization. Hey, hey, hey. So late, stay on the couch. Cash apps. <laughs> 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 Just know the feds and the FBI watching. Of course. That goes without saying, my brother. That goes without saying. That goes without saying. How was the school coming? We pushing, brother. We pushing. I got a big booty and it's juicy. You better cut it out. She said she got a big booty and it's juicy. Sisters, let's do the work first. Don't don't worry. We're going to make love. Oh, we're going to make some love. You better believe that. Okay. But let's do the work first, my beautiful African queens. Let's do the work. Let's do the work. Oh, that's why too short and eight for the same. The goddamn NBA is a suspect. As soon as I said that, Mama or Yah blew my cell phone off the stand. So hold me, please don't marry that. Yes, yes. And that's why I'm so water, water. Water. They are contacting the college to try to force them to cancel my lecture this Thursday to close out Black History Month. They're claiming I smoke crack. Yes. Too short, too short, too short. Short dog in the house. For the water. Hey, right, show. You know what I've been noticing? All uh, bitches ain't women. Umar can't tell you when the HVAC coming. 
Umar can't tell you when the school opening. Umar can't tell you how he would pay the utilities in the school. Umar can't tell you how he would pay for the staff. Umar hasn't verified that he's even hired a staff. He can't tell you anything of note about this school, but he does have the time to comment on who a high schooler should take to prom. This is just another indicator that Umar, although he's a great orator, although he's very entertaining, he's not somebody we should take seriously. Seriously, man, like if y'all care, if anybody cares about who Bronny James is taking to prom, that's how you know you do not have enough love in your life. You, you don't have enough hobbies, right? Like Ketanji Jackson got on the Supreme Court. She has a white husband. No, nope, we don't care. Black men don't care. The only people who care are women that are losing and people that are losing in jail. Man, All ain't women, man. No, no. Some of these That's niggas, real, man, be acting like bitches, man. Yeah. So, Dr. Umar, where is the school Johnson, has jumped on the Ebony K. Williams bandwagon. And I'm like, but well, where's the school? We've been waiting for the school for like three years. Like, where's the school? You got time to be talking about Ebony K. Williams and her right to not want to date a bus driver, and we still waiting for the school? Like... I don't understand how you got so much time to be attacking people and fight with people online. And did y'all see that video over there on Tasha K? What that lady said, he wanted to taste the Gucci. <laughs> he told her, you gonna be the one I F when I come down here. Did y'all see? No wonder we ain't got no school. And now you want to attack Ebony K. Williams for her right to choose. Leave Female puppies, man. You already know. Look, get, get a real one in your life, man. Get a real one in your life. That's what I tell a bitch. Bitch! Stop how we do it. Stop how we do it. Get a real one in your life. 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 Get a Oh boy, and Umar is definitely a big old bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button on the way in. Hit the cash app or the PayPal if you support the mission. Matter of fact, we got to drop the bomb early on. We just had a heck of a contribution come through, courtesy of Broken Arrow, also known as Sable, also known as my main man. I appreciate the support, brother. And actually, with this support comes a message. Uh, Broken Arrow says, um, this is for a course sponsorship. Oh, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I see what he's doing here. Let me go ahead and post this in the chat. If you don't know, now you know. I started a monthly YouTube mastermind group for people who have a goal of becoming content creators, want to start a YouTube channel, need some guidance. Um, this is a, gr a great way for us to hold each other accountable, help one another. And, you know, I'm a full-time YouTuber myself, so I can definitely give you the game and get you up to speed. Uh, we meet Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you're interested in joining the monthly mastermind group, then go ahead and send me an email. My email is mike at keymediapro.com. Uh, put mastermind in the subject, and we can go ahead and give you some info on how to join. And actually, um, as I was just saying, Broken Arrow just provided this contribution as a course sponsorship. So ladies and gentlemen, the, the monthly mastermind group is $50 a month, and he's just sponsored somebody's first month to be a part of the mastermind group. So what I'll do, what I'll do is we'll give it a uh, 24 hours. Anybody who emails me wanting to become a a part of the monthly mastermind group over the next 24 hours we'll put you in a raffle and whoever wins you've got your first month of the mastermind group sponsored courtesy of broken arrow once again thank you for the support and correct me if i'm wrong uh broken arrow is also feathered serpent of the west or is that a different person i mean y'all be having a whole bunch of uh, nicknames and pseudonyms but either way thank you for the support and thank you for sponsoring somebody's first month in that youtube mastermind group Now, back to why we're all here. Boy, oh boy, I'm under the weather myself, not feeling too well, but I said, uh, I got to go live. I got to go live and shine light on um, 
Umar Johnson's latest scam. Umar Johnson's latest scheme. Umar Johnson is trying to hit a lick, y'all. Umar, I don't know if he owes some drug dealer or some money, allegedly. I don't know if he ran off on the crack plug and they said they're going to burn down the school, allegedly. I don't know what it is, but Umar Johnson is is coming off kind of desperate. Umar Johnson is kind of coming off. He's um he's really giving, it's giving uh, Denzel Washington training day when, you know, he had to come up with that million dollars or so or else the Russians were going to get him, right? It's giving, uh, I need to walk away with that gun and that bag, okay, <laughs> right? Umar Johnson, by any means necessary, he has a new hustle. God damn it. The prince of panhandling, the the prince of, um, let me visit the school and use it as a backdrop. When I need to hustle up some donations. Ladies and gentlemen, Peep Game, the only time you see him nowadays at the school is if he's using it as a videographic backdrop. If he's using it like a live studio to simply hustle and solicit more donations. God damn it, man. Maybe he should take a page out of my book and lead with value. And then the contributions, they come willing. The contributions, they come without really without really having to beg nor solicit. I mean, God damn it, let me go ahead and drop the bomb again. Uh, we had FBA Stogie come through with a contribution. I thank you for putting five on it, brother. Appreciate the cash app. Mm, I said, I don't care if I'm sick. I don't care if I'm coming down with the flu. I got a fever. But I said, we need to expose Umar Johnson, or excuse me, Jermaine Shoemakes. Jermaine Shoemakes' latest scheme, y'all. This is 150 thousand dollar scam like god damn it nigga uh, ain't you had enough yet you already scamming with the school for 2.5 milli and going and now you're like hmm let me hit a little lick for 150,000. you know what um i told them 10 wasn't enough they need to send 20 but fuck that uh Fuck these 20s here and there. I need to come up like 150,000. Thank you, Sister Avanti. $10 coming on the cash app. Thank you, Sister. Next time, make it 20. But thank you for that 10. I know you barely had that. Thank you, Sister. Yeah, forget make it 20. He said, let's make it 150. 150,000, that is. Desmond says, why isn't he in prison? It's simple. For all we like to talk within our community about agents, for all we like to speak about within our community, um, government conspiracy and intervention and puppet political pundits and, you know, fake leaders that are propped up to the forefront, uh, continuously uh, put into the pop culture circuit. I mean, why is this man always on the Breakfast Club? Why is this man meeting with Nick Cannon? Why is this man meeting with Little Yachty? Why is this man meeting with Sukihana? He's a part of the system. He is a part of the problem, not the solution. For all of y'all who like to talk that agent talk, we got an agent on the screen right here. What black man gets away, let me say this clearly, what black man gets away with scamming millions of dollars over decades publicly. Publicly, right in our faces. The niggas at the casino gambling away the money. Credit, hit the cash app. We gotta get money by any means necessary. Frederick Douglass High School renovations coming right up. What black man, not even a man, but especially a black man, what black man gets away with publicly stealing millions of dollars from the public by way of a scam, a scheme that corporations have already caught on to. Remember, he was uh, suspended from GoFundMe. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know, not only am I exposing his new scam, uh, Newsflash, Umar's also ranting and bitching and complaining on Facebook about how he's banned from live streaming on all social media platforms. Let me say that again. His scam was already discovered by corporations, i.e. social media's cutting him off, GoFundMe been cut him off. Bam, right there. Drop the bomb. Boom, pow. Then on top of that, governmental bodies are already onto the scam. Remember, he got a cease and desist letter from the state of Pennsylvania saying he can't fundraise in the state of Pennsylvania no more. So not only are the corporations onto the scam, the government's onto the scam. 
So if corporations know about it, the government knows about it. Remember, even the uh, even the state licensing board had to do a hearing with him to check his credentials to see if he was even a doctor, to see if he was even a psychologist. Ladies and gentlemen, if the scam is so blatant, the scam is so obvious, the scam is so public, why is he not in prison? Why has he not been charged with the crime? Why did that Somali chick or Sudanese chick, what was her name? Rola Osman, the Brickgate girl, why did she get charges and get arrested for a $40,000 GoFundMe scam, yet Umar Johnson has scammed millions from our community publicly, braggadociously, and he hasn't even been charged? Come on, y'all. If, if y'all want evidence of a modern-day agent provocateur, it's Umar Johnson. I'm sorry, Jermaine Shoemake. So now let's go ahead and get into his new scam. Let's go ahead and get into the new $150,000 scheme that he has concocted. But before we get into it, I urge you, hit the like button. Likes are free after all. And if you support the mission, again, we're not even monetized by YouTube. This is a crowdfunded operation. So if you support the mission, put five on it. Hit the cash app, hit the PayPal. But let's get into the content, y'all. Peace and love, family. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde, King Kong Consciousness. For all of you who are interested in going with me to Africa this summer, we do have the package ready. Uh, the price is more than what my groups have paid in the past. My previous six group trips to Africa, with the last one being in 2019, they averaged $45 to $4,800 per person for double occupancy, with having your own room costing more than that. Well, the package that I just got has double occupancy for $6,000. And so, Peace King, and so I don't know if that is what the groups are costing now. It's been five years since I led a group. I want to hear from you. If you think the $6,000 for the three countries of Ghana. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you heard that right. Umar Johnson is selling you a travel package. Umar Johnson is selling a Africa tour, a 14-day Africa tour of Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal for $6,000. Ladies and gentlemen, if you stay up to date with the content that Mike TV produces on a week to week basis, then you're thinking in the back of your mind, Ghana, Gambia, Senegal, Africa, going to Africa. If you're familiar with Mike TV's content as of late, you're thinking in the back of your mind, wasn't Mike just talking about all those black Americans getting scammed, robbed, jailed, and murdered in Africa, specifically Ghana and the Gambia? Again, if you're familiar with my content, you know the work that I've done over the last two weeks to shine a light, to give our community a PSA that we should not be going to Africa under any circumstances. Our own government advises against it. We are dropping like flies being murdered in Africa, specifically Ghana and the Gambia. And those are two out of the three countries in Africa that Umar Johnson wants to... Do you trust Umar fucking Johnson with your life? Do you trust Umar Johnson, the Prince of Potato Salad, uh, Pineapple Pan Pizza, Pan-Africanism? Do you trust this nigga with your life to take you to a third world country in Africa? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, yeah, uh, 6000 per person. And I'm not sure if you can see the bottom of the screen right there. Uh, guys, double occupancy. That means he's going to put you in a hotel room with another random, strange, Pan-African Umarian. You're going to share your room. You're going to have a bunkmate. You're going to pay $6,000 to go to some third world shithole countries where your life is at risk. Every day you're there and you're going to have a roomie too. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Do we trust Umar Johnson with our safety? With the safety of our loved ones. Umar Johnson? Umar? The the cookie monster? come home frustrated and she had a bad day and the things just didn't go right and she ain't gonna want to be caressed and she ain't gonna want to be massaged and she ain't gonna want a forehead kiss she gonna want her cookies crushed every once in a while your queen is gonna want her cookies crushed and when your queen needs you to crush those cookies you have to be able to meet the demand Every sister, I don't care how spiritual she is, I don't care how feminine she is, every once in a while, she want cookies crushed. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The Lord works in mysterious ways. You can call this divine intervention, but I find it also oh interesting that I've been shining a light on these evil ass Africans, these murderous ass Africans, and how they are literally killing foundational black Americans on the continent of Africa. And next week, one week later, here comes Umar Johnson with a new scam to take y'all to Africa for 14 days. Have you pay $6,000 to go to Africa for 14 days? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, after this program ends, don't go anywhere. Right after the stream ends, there's going to be a 10 second countdown on the screen and it's going to automatically redirect you into the next broadcast we're doing right after this one. And do you know what the next broadcast is we're doing after this one? The next broadcast is about an African man who got gang raped by his fellow Africans. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, God damn it, the Lord works in mysterious ways. After we're going to expose Umar's back to Africa scam, his travel package scam, a scam as old as time, these Pan-African packages, right? Right after, coincidentally, we're talking about how these Africans are gang raping their fellow Africans. So if they go and gang rape their fellow African, what do you think they're going to do to us when we already know the vitriol? the disdain, the contempt that they have for black Americans. He wants y'all to go to the place where they gang banging they fellow brothers. And we supposed to go to that third world country shithole to go view some shanty towns and take some pictures with some skinny malnourished children and feel like we're doing something. Come on. Let's get back into the scam. Hit the like button, hit the cash app, hit the PayPal. I'm on this motherfucker's neck. It ain't even been 24 hours since he announced the scam, and I'm on his neck exposing it so that you guys know, hide your kids, hide your wife, stay away from Africa, and if you want to go to Africa, don't pay Umar Johnson $6,000 to take you there. Gal in Gambia is worth it. Please let me know if it is. We're going to move forward. I want to see how many of you are still willing to go at the new price, which is approximately twelve hundred dollars or more what we've paid for my previous six groups. But again, it's been five years. Last trip being in 2019. And so maybe with the cost of gas, hotels, airplane, I don't know. But the price is much higher now than it was before. And I want to know what you guys think. If you still want to. This motherfucker ain't even confident in this scam, sir. You are a bona fide con man. Ladies and gentlemen, let's test the chat a little bit. Pop quiz. Do you know what con man is short for? Do you know what con man is an abbreviation for? Let's see if anybody knows in the chat. What is a con man? What is the long form of the abbreviation con, C-O-N? Let, let's see if anybody in the chat knows. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Confidence man. 
to be a con man, you have to have confidence. This motherfucker ain't even confident in his scheme he's trying to pull off. Hey, guys, so family, listen, um, um, see, how do I say this to you? Um, um, it's not right for me to say this, but it's coming from the heart. <laughs> like, hold on. See, what happened was, what happened was last time I took y'all to Africa, I know it was like 4,800 or like 4,500, but, um, you see, um, listen, 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 I got a plan. I, I, I just want to run something past you, family. I, I just want to run something past you real quick, family. Um, so I'm thinking of taking people to Africa for 14 days, uh, this time for $6,000. This time for six. Th family, l let me know if that's too much money. I mean, I know it's more than it was before, but um, it might be gas or like maybe plane tickets or something of the sort. I'm not sure exactly why the price is 6000 but if that's too much, family, let me know. But I think we're going forward with the price of 6000 family. I mean, Sir, you're not even confident in your scheme you're trying to pull off. I want to hear from you. If you think the $6,000 for the three countries of Ghana, Senegal, and Gambia is worth it, please let me know. If it is, we're going to move forward. I want to see how many of you are still willing to go at the new price, which is a price. Damn. He's trying to test his target audience, y'all. He's trying to test his targeted demographic. He's just testing the marketplace real quick. It's like, guys, I, I just want you to let me know if 6000 is too much. But if it's not, we're going to go with that price. Um, if it is, then, then, then let me know. I mean, sir, you're not even confident in your con. Approximately $1,200 or more what we've paid for my previous six groups. But again, it's been five years, last trip being in 2019. And so maybe with the cost of gas, hotels, airplane, I don't know. But the price is much higher now than it was before. And I want to know what you guys think. If you still want us to push forward with the Ghana, Gambia, Senegal trip, 14 days, 14 nights, then send me a text message. 215-989-9858. Say, Dr. Umar, I'm willing to pay the six grand for double occupancy or a little. <laughs> guys, I mean, the price has gone up. I'm not sure if you think it's too much. But if it's not too much for you personally, send me a text and say, yeah, Dr. Umar, I'm willing to give you $6,000. God damn it, y'all. God damn it. Shit seems sweet until somebody like Mike TV comes along to dissect what's really going on, to break apart the grift, to break apart the scam, to break apart what he's trying to dress up as some kind of rosy vacation, a 14-day, 14-night double occupancy. Sir, double occupancy means I'm going to have a bunk mate. I don't want to pay $6,000 and not even have my own room. I got to pay $6,000 and share my room with somebody I don't even know? Okay. God damn it. So if I want my own room, how much is it? $12,000? A bit more for my own room. A lot of these trips are costing that kind of money now. I need to know what y'all think. So let your brother know. 215-989-9858. Do we push forward with the $6,000 three country? Jonathan, for real, for real, for real, for $6,000 in a third world country, I can get a five-star resort. I can rent a whole fucking house on Airbnb or something. You tell me I'm gonna give Umar 6k to go live in a shanty town with a roommate for 14 days. What? Entry package that's being offered. If y'all ready, I'm ready. I just want to make sure we got at least 25 of you who want to make this move. Black power. Who's going with me to Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal? We we almost to the finish line for the itinerary. I'm trying to make sure we got everything for y'all to fully enjoy yourselves. I want you to fully enjoy your and yes, peep game, guys. Nick says, why is he doing African tours? Anyways, he's supposed to be building a damn school. He only uses the school as a backdrop for videos to solicit donations. 12 years now, school's not done, but Umar's going to charge you guys 6K to go to Africa for half a month. Okay. The school was literally purchased to keep the con alive, to make it a long con. That's all it is. It is nothing more than a shitty uh, a bando of a YouTube studio. That's all it is. Nothing more. Sure as hell ain't going to have no students up in there. Ready? I'm ready. I just want to make sure we got at least 25 of you who want to make this move. Black power. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't clickbait you. I'm not facetious. The title says Umar Johnson's new $150,000 scam. He's trying to get 25 ignorant ass niggas to go with him to Africa. 25 times 6,000 per person is what, ladies and gentlemen, do the math. 
Who's going to put it in the chat first? 25 times 6,000 per person is how much, guys? Is Mike up here lying? Is Mike up here just trying to clickbait y'all for views and likes and, and cash apps and shit? Am I just trying to uh, run a grift where I'm trying to round up everybody that hates Umar to just shit on a black man that's doing good for society? No, no, no. When I say he has a new $150,000 scam, he has a new $150,000 scam. And yes, y'all, FDMG is coming. We pushing, family. We pushing. We pushing. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to use the school as a studio to solicit donations. In the meantime, I'm going to use the school as a place to throw block parties. In the meantime, I'm going to use the school as a place to have a pseudo wedding, not once, but twice. Two marriages. I think he has three wives now. Come on, y'all. FDMG is coming, y'all. We just got to wait a little longer. 10 more years, 20 more years, 30 more years. This man going to die and his hologram going to be in front of the school soliciting Cash App and PayPal donations. Say it ain't so. Who's going with me to Ghana, Gambia, and Senegal? We, we almost to the finish line for the itinerary. I'm trying to make sure we got everything for y'all to fully enjoy yourselves. I want you to fully enjoy yourselves on Dr. Umar's seventh annual African group tour. My first tour in five years since the year of return. The monkey trail, the monkeys be jumping all on you. You're going to like it. They don't bite you. They don't hurt you. But the monkey's going to be jumping all on you. You're going to love it. That's why I want y'all to go to the monkey trail. <laughs> Grandpa to grandpa. Oh, oh. And then I smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> he just want that banana. Y'all got a banana? Who got I got a banana? <laughs> 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 Give us a... Oh, no, <laughs> Push it, push it up, that's so they can get more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all I was the lion king. <laughs> Umar wants to take you to the jungle, ladies. Ladies, single mothers, single mothers, forego your new wig installation. Forego your next order of shea butter. Forego your next Lil Boozy concert. Instead, give Umar Johnson that 6K and he gonna take you to the jungles. The single moms need to have fun too, right? That's why I want you to go to the monkey trap. And the waterfall, the waterfall, it's this big waterfall. You staying under the waterfall is better than the beach. It's better than a swimming pool. It's a natural waterfall in Ghana. It's a... Hey, Playboy, Um, I think we might even have like U.S. territories that have natural waterfalls, y'all. You know what, guys? Um. I'm going to confess, I don't have my passport yet. I do so much traveling nationally. I haven't even gone abroad yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion that there's natural waterfalls and jungle-like environments in U.S. territories that are not third world countries, goddammit. Um, um, I'm not sure what they got going on in Puerto Rico, um, but I know that Hawaii is a part of the United States, goddammit. I'd much rather go to Hawaii. Natural waterfall in Ghana, brothers and sisters. It's a natural waterfall in Ghana. You will love it. Why that water so brown? That don't look good. Fa family, family, family. Listen, I'm just that. Mm, I'm I'm just not quite sure about. Mm, I mean, how many videos have we seen of these Africans shitting on the beaches? shitting in the rivers and then swimming in the shit infested rivers for all we know that is the local toilet y'all that is the local outhouse i just it don't sit right with me y'all it just it just don't sit right with me at all god damn it hey um how many shots are you required to have before you go on a, a trip to three different african countries y'all <laughs> riddle me that How far is Togo from here? I can see it, but we have y'all. Uh, this is a wonderful waterfall here, you guys. Yeah, y'all, um, he's selling us the notion of, of a natural waterfall. Guys, I didn't know there was such a thing as a unnatural waterfall. I mean, I know there's man-made lakes. I'm an outdoorsman myself. I know there's man-made man lakes, but I've never heard of anything other than a natural waterfall. But we know Omar Johnson ain't, ain't that bright. It's 
it's, it's so spiritually cleansing the water is so spiritually cleansing all curvy queens must enter the waterfall with king kong all curvy queens must enter the waterfall with king kong god damn it this man is like fuck him being an agent this is like some they clone tyrone shit they clone jermaine they have cloned jermaine and although we have a great natural language processor installed in this ai unit although we have a great ai chatbot that is able to to perform a neural link and have him respond in real time ladies and gentlemen um this is still this is still a work in progress this this bot that we see right before our eyes this clone he um he really only knows like two or three things so either beg for money um speak sexually about sexualized women um or shame his followers guys he's either asking for money he's talking sexually greasy to women or he is shaming his followers that's all he knows that's all he was programmed to do he's been renditioned i don't know what year it was exactly but umar johnson i mean he he must be a clone he must be an agent how else can we explain this you know he he be having little Little glips in the uh, glitches in the programming. He'd be repeating shit three times. I mean, <laughs> he don't want to do that. It's just he's having some glitches, y'all. There's some errors in the code. I mean, Umar Johnson only asks for money, right? Either he's asking for money. Cash apps. <laughs> Any more cash apps. Or he's speaking very, very sexually about his followers come home frustrated and she had a bad day and the things just didn't go right and she ain't gonna want to be caressed and she ain't gonna want to be massaged and she ain't gonna want a forehead kiss she gonna want her cookies crushed or the third option is shaming his followers thank you sister avanti ten dollars coming on the cash app thank you sister next time make it 20 but thank you for that 10 i know you barely had that thank you sister Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the cash app. Hit the PayPal, y'all. Who else is dissecting this motherfucker right before your eyes like this? Who else is putting this to your real easy, real simple, real plain, giving you the game, allowing you to see through the facade? This man does three things. First of all, he only shows up to that school if he's asking for money or running a new scam. And if he comes on camera, he's speaking sexually, misogynistically or he's begging, or he is shaming. That's all, prove me wrong. All curvy queens must enter the waterfall with King Kong. Oh yes, 14 days and 14 nights, oh yes. Who's coming on the trip? We got 45 seats, I take up one, at least 44. Who will be part of the blessed 44? Get your passports, put the bathing suit on. Lord have mercy, put the bathing suit on. Put the bathing suit, Lord have mercy. I'm just joking with y'all. I got a wifey. I can't be over there misbehaving. Conscious. Word on the street is you got three wives and two children. Two children. One of them is an adult daughter. The other one is a young woman. Um, Lord, oh Lord. What are you doing, Jermaine? So I'm, I'm the group leader. I can't be involved in anything that's less than, less than, you know, less than honorable. I'm the group leader. I can't be involved in anything less than honorable. I'm the group leader. I'm the group leader. First night we get to Ghana, you could pick out your African clothes from the African tailors. All the African tailors will be there. All the African tailors will be there. You can get all your African clothing. Get all your African clothing. Yes, truth be told, he's shaming people that date outside their race. He's all up in people's relationships. This man is a habitual baby mama maker. Got two baby mamas, one daughter that's 21, another daughter that I think is 14 or 10, somewhere around there, three pseudo wives, and now he wants to take some Charlottes out there to Africa for 14 days and 14 nights. Curvy queens enter the water. One wifey, I need the second one. She's some nice African clothes. It's time for some new dashikis. It's time for some new kufis. I got to... I ain't, been to I ain't been to Ghana in six years, family. Peace and Pan-Africanism, good sister. Dr. Umar, how are you? Who's going to Africa, family? 
I'm going to try to set up a lecture at the University of Ghana, University of Gambia, University of Senegal. You come as a Mexican, not unless you an indigenous African Mexican. Are you a Mexican African who, who came over with our great Africans from the empires thousands of years ago? Because if you a burrito bunny, we don't need no burrito bunnies. This is not a bunny hop trip. No burrito bunnies. All due respect. No burrito bunnies. No, 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 no. Much respect to the Mexican women, but this is an African trip. Unless you are African Mexican, the original Mexican Africans. If that ain't you, then you ain't coming. Can you bring your snow bunny? You will never get on that plane. I'm promising you that now. You can try it if you want, my brother. You can try it if you want. You will waste your money. That will be money wasted. If Damn. Why you do us like that, Umar? Why you do us like that, Umar? Some of us got snow bunnies, Umar. So um, would you have also told your daddy, Frederick Douglass, that his white wife can't come? I mean, I'm just confused. I'm just confused. But then again, why do I do you like that? In 12 years. Why you do me like that? Why you do me like that, bro? Well, the only reason why I mention people's actions is because you yourself exclusively date black, yet you're one of the biggest scammers in our community. It's been 12 years. Oh, since you've been oh, 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 why you do me like that? Why you do me like that, bro? Oh, man. Oh, Mike, we, 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 we was going oh, good until Michael went a little left. Mike, come Mike, on. Oh. Hey, what can I say? Mike don't, don't hold his tongue. Don't let Mike up on your platform because Mike might make shit go a little bit left, as they say. Mike might have the broadcast going a little bit left. If you pull up with a damn bunny, that would be money wasted. That would be money wasted. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to drag your ass into the bathroom and chain you to the toilet. They won't even know you missed the flight. We're going to drag you into the bathroom and chain your ass to the Nigga, are you talking about assault and false imprisonment, nigga? What is he talking about? Good Lord, I thought he lost his mind when he was threatening to send the goons after Tariq Nasheed to bootleg Hidden Colors. The bootleg boys told me to tell you it's on and popping, bro. I'm just letting you know so you can do what you need to do because I don't know how you feed. I don't know how you feed your loved ones, brother. So however you do it, you better get to it because the bootleg boys said the only reason why we held off is because we thought Dr. Umar was getting some of this. Damn, Jermaine, I thought you were smoking crack. I thought you were smoking crack out They're here. They're claiming I smoke crack. When you were um, threatening to bootleg Tariq Nasheed, but but now you're threatening assault and false imprisonment? Now you're threatening to, to hold someone against their will and chain them up in the bathroom at the airport? What? J Jermaine. Jermaine. You could try it if you want, my brother. You could try it if you want. You will waste your money. That will be money wasted if you pull up with a damn bunny. That will be money wasted. That will be money wasted. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to drag your ass into the bathroom and chain you to the toilet. They won't even know you missed the flight. We're going to drag you into the bathroom and chain your ass to the toilet. They won't even know you missed the flight at the airport. You'll be chained to the airport bathroom toilet, my brother. That's what we're going to do. Flush the shit down the toilet. Oh, yes. Say it with me, brothers and sisters. We're going to flush the shit down the toilet. Oh, yes. You want to bunny hop on my trip? Be my guest. We're going to chain you to the shitter. That's what we're going to do. Oh, yes. It's Pan-Africanism a parish. I mean, guys, I know, I know us black folks have been subjugated, discriminated against. We have been a victim of racism and systematic white supremacy. So I know it's hard for us to realize this, but black people can be racist too ladies and gentlemen black people can definitely be racist and umar johnson he's just a racist ass motherfucker i mean there's no other way to put it there's no other thing i can say yeah mari burrito bunnies how fucking disrespectful and i'm not even mexican so deprive other indigenous people from getting knowledge and seeing africa yes he's a uh, I got the, I guess he's a true Pan African because them Africans are xenophobic. This man is xenophobic and a racist as a motherfucker. Totally discriminates, talks cash money shit about any burrito bunnies. Imagine if it was a white man doing some trip to Africa, doing some trip to Brazil, or doing some trip somewhere, and he's like, um, you can come, but I only want my snow bunnies. I don't want no Shaquitas. I don't want no Ching Chong Ling Longs, no Shaquitas, no Moniques, no Top Ramanishas. Like, this is the equivalent, sir. This is the, the same equivalent.
you are a racist, xenophobic, misogynistic, scamming ass Negro. And honestly, I think he's a tether. Word on the street is he was cosplaying as a direct descendant of um, our leaders because Mans was trying to hide the fact that allegedly, allegedly, he has Cuban descent. So no wonder why he came into the game tethering like tethers do. And so we paid respects earlier to the Honorable Frederick Douglass, my direct ancestor, and it's only fitting and it's only with respect that if we're going to big up the masculine energy, we got to big up the feminine energy. And we know that Queen Mother Harriet and Frederick Douglass were very, very good friends. Some even say may have been cousins, which means I'm related to Harriet Tubman. I ain't going to even get into that right now. Come on. Come on. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, and let's dispel these myths that black folks can't be racist. Young Black Wall Street says, hey, Mike TV, we can't be racist. We have to have some type of power structure. That is a myth. That is a myth. You can have a racist neighbor. You can have a poor racist neighbor from down the street. That person doesn't have any power structure. They can be an Indian. They can be a tether. They can be a white person. They're just a racist person. They don't necessarily have organizations and conglomerates subjugating you you can be racist without being a, a billionaire without being a member of the one percent you can be racist and umar johnson is as racist as all hell but let's get back into the scam y'all let's expose the scam it's pan-africanism a parish morehouse march 18th pull-up season cop and state march 13th pull-up season florida a m march the 25th through the 29th pull-up season new orleans louisiana march the 23rd Pull-up season, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, May 25th and 24th, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. I'm pulling up for Black Wall Street in Tulsa, April, excuse me, May 24th and May 25th, pull-up season. If you meet a bunny on a trip, you will stay with that bunny. You will not get back on the plane back home. We're going to put you on a canoe. You can roll your ass back home. Oh, yes. Put his ass on a canoe. Let the ancestors deal with you over the mighty ocean of the Atlantic. Put his ass on a canoe, you and your bunny. Tie their ass to the slave ship and let the ancestors deal with you on the high seas. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who coming with Africa? I'm going to make sure there's more sisters than brothers. It's going to be a two to three ratio. A one to two ratio. Oh, Lord, he has to make sure that there's double the sisters. He got to make sure that it ain't no sausage fest because Umar Johnson just wants some cookies in Africa. Umar Johnson, really? He just has some tours set up in Africa, allegedly. So he said, you know what? What's a scheme I can do? Well, I'm already paid to do some speaking engagements by some stupid ass Africans in Africa, right? Um, what if I try to get uh, 25 women to come along with me and we can have sex in the jungle and I can take them to the dirty giraffe uh, waterfall. And I, I think he just wanted some concubines on his trip to Africa, y'all. I think he just wanted some concubines. And then in classic pimp fashion, he wants them to pay him six grand to come along. Okay. If we got 44 people on a trip, that means 33 sisters and 11 brothers. Nah, that's too, that's too, nah, that's too much. We're going to do 22 and 22. Can you bring your spouse? Of course you could bring your spouse. That could be your vacation. Don't let her catch you looking at the other African queens, though. Because there'd be some fine women on the Dr. Umar trip. So if you're going to bring your spouse, brother, make sure you stay focused now. We don't want to be breaking up no marriages. If you're going to bring your spouse, make sure you stay focused now. Okay, don't be, don't be, don't be. I had a couple couples come on my trip and the, and the man started looking at the other queens and the queen ain't like it. So my brother, you got to stay focused now. If you're going to bring your queen on this trip, you got to stay focused now. Don't be, don't be, don't, don't be letting that gazelle, don't be letting that eye go too far to the right, to the left, brother. When we on that bus, you, you got to look straight ahead when we on that bus, brother. Let me go. Lick your elbows. Ah, 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 ah. Let me lick your elbows today. Ah, ah, ah. Give me, give me the elbows. Tricking live. All the families together. I'm trying to keep all the families together. If you come in with your queen or your king, make sure you stay focused now. Don't start thirsty dip. Don't start thirsty dip. All right. We going for culture and consciousness. We going for culture and consciousness. We are not going for cookies. We going for culture and consciousness. We are not going for cookies. We must stay focused. Can the <laughs> can the queen who threw the shea butter at you at the new black wall? <laughs> she 
he said, can the queen who threw the shea butter at Dr. Umar at New Black Wall Street, can she come on the trip? You tell me, do y'all want her to come on the trip? Do y'all want my chocolate sister who threw the shea butter at me on the New Black Wall Street? Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, now he's talking about having a sister who threw the shea butter come on the trip. Okay. All right, it's getting interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. As soon as the stream ends, the next one's beginning. I'll see you there.